So rapper Rick Ross, you know, wanted 10 oak trees cut down on his property and he did not like the cost of what he was getting. Now people talking about that. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. Morning glory. I'm up early this morning and I just got my estimate. I got like 10 trees. I want to cut down. They say them big trees, them big oak trees, Rose. I say, I don't care. I want them cut down. Let me a thousand dollars a tree for 10 trees. That's 10,000. Okay. I just told my homie, you go to home Depot and you go get me the biggest. And saw there is with a big chain and you crank. I'm going to cut the trees down. You heard me? I'm hands on. I cut down my own mother trees. You can't charge the boss a thousand dollars a tree to cut it down. I cut down my own trees. I got to make room for my animals. I'm the biggest boss. Y'all ready to go cut these trees down? Now, just because you have money, because I know some people are going to say, man, Rick Ross rich, man. What's $10,000 to, to Rick Ross? He got it. But people that got money, how they keep their money is spending their money smartly, not just blowing it just because you got it, right? I know good and well people jacked up that price on him just because they saw it was Rick Ross. Because if it been anybody else, I'm like, hell no, I'm not. No, they're not going to charge that. But see, what he should have did is got a – you know, other companies to come out and bid for that job. And somebody would have took that job. Trust me. Somebody could have took that job. And what you could have done is I would have, I would have paid them to cut the trees down. I would have told them I'm going to pay you to chop up that wood for like firewood. Then I'm a, I'm a keep so much wood or that wood for myself. And then I'm going to sell off the rest of this firewood to the people. Oh, I can just give it away. Whatever I want to do, but nine times out of 10, I'm probably going to sell it, you know, well, I would get the, uh, make sure they get the stump grinder out there and get the stumps out, get everything. You know, you want the trees off, off your property, you can. Now him cutting it down was cool. I, I like seeing that kind of footage that the brother out there cutting down his own trees on his property. Cause you know, recently Rick Ross bought a lot of property. Um, if you don't know, but, um, yeah, man, shout out to Rick Ross. You don't let nobody just take your money like that. You know, I don't care if you got millions upon millions of dollars. It's about, uh, principle. You know what I'm saying? Now who's to say if a person gave him a good price and he was like, you know what? Let me give you a big tip because you know, y'all did such a good job. And I'm like that. It's like, if you do a good job for me, I'm going to make sure to try to tip you because I'm like, look, you know, nah, man, this, they gave me a good deal. You know, they did a good job and then you got me for life. So anytime that you, you know, if I needed a tree cut or whatever, I'm gonna pick up the phone and call you. I'm not going to look for nobody else. And maybe if they, that person would have gave Rick Ross a better price you know, maybe he, they would have kept getting jobs from him. But y'all leave me a comment, you know, let me know what you think about Rick Ross, you know, cutting down that tree. You say, you say he the boss. You say he going to cut down this tree. I don't blame him. Uh, do that. But you know that, but beyond with you, that was kind of dangerous. You know, if you don't know what you're doing, cause like that tree fall the wrong way, <laughs> you a goner.